Today we are overclocking the AMD Radeon 760M integrated graphics integrated in the Ryzen 5 8600G Hawkpoint APU and we're overclocking it all the way up to 3150 megahertz in five minutes or less using the Gigabyte B650E Aorus Elite AX ICE motherboard and custom loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't copy these settings and just apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock these integrated graphics, have a look at the longer Scatterbanger video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. In easy mode, set XMP Expo Profile to Expo 1. That makes the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 6400 and the associated memory timings. Enable XMP Expo High Bandwidth Support. This Gigabyte technology optimizes the memory timings to achieve better memory performance. Switch to Advanced Mode and go to the Settings menu. Enter the AMD Overclocking submenu. This will provide us with all the advanced AMD overclocking tools. Click Accept. Enter the Manual iGPU Overclocking submenu. Now we can set our manual target clock frequency for the integrated graphics. We must also specify a target voltage for this frequency. We can set the frequency 350 MHz higher than the default 2.8 GHz. Note that the maximum graphics voltage is restricted to 1.25 volt in ambient conditions. Set GFX clock frequency to 3150. Set GFX voltage to 1250. Leave the manual iGPU overclocking submenu. Enter the DDR and Infinity Fabric Frequency Timings submenu. Here we can adjust the system memory configuration as well as tune the Infinity Fabric and memory controller. Since we are using the Expo settings for this guide, we'll only fine tune the Infinity Fabric and the memory controller frequency. Enter the Infinity Fabric Frequency and Dividers submenu. Set Infinity Fabric Frequency and Dividers to 2467 MHz. This increases the clock frequency of the data fabric connecting the CPU cores, memory controller and integrated graphics. Set uclock div one mode to uclock equals memclock. This forces the memory controller to run at the same frequency as the system memory. Our system memory frequency will be DDR5 6400, which is 3200 megahertz. So the memory controller will also run at 3.2 gigahertz. Leave the infinity fabric and dividers submenu. Leave the DDR and Infinity Fabric Frequency Timings submenu. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 Boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC and EDC, according to the motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Leave the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Enter the SOC Uncore OC Mode submenu. Here we can enable OC Mode for the SOC Uncore IP blocks, which forces the Infinity Fabric, Unified Memory Controller and System Memory to always run at their highest frequency. Set SOC Uncore OC mode to Enabled. Leave the SOC Uncore OC mode submenu. Enter the SOC Voltage submenu. Here we can increase the SOC voltage to a maximum of 1.3 volt on ambient cooling. We need to increase the SOC voltage to have the memory controller frequency run in sync with the system memory frequency. Set SOC voltage to 1300. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything is working as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 35.29% in Returnal. The highest graphics clock reported in the operating system is 3150 MHz. When running the 3DMark Speedway stability test, the average GPU effective clock is 3162 MHz with 1.25 volts. The GPU memory clock is 3200 MHz. The average GPU ASIC power is 82.2 watts. 
And that's it. I want to thank you for watching and the patrons for their support and see you next time.